ओम हरि ओम श्री गुरुभ्यो नम हरि ओम मातृदेव भव पितृदेव भव आचार्यदेव भव विष्णु सहस्रनाम स्त्रोत्र स्त्रोत्र लवन अज सर्वेश्वर सिद्ध सिद्धि सर्वादिरक्षत वृषा कपिरमयी आत्मा सर्वयोग विनसृत अज अज मीन्स वन हू इज नॉट बॉर्न फ्रॉम एनी वन हव अवर ही इज बॉर्न इन एवरी वन लुक्स लाइक ऑपोजिट मीनिंग्स करेक्ट गॉड इज नॉट बॉर्न फ्रॉम एनी वन हव अवर ही इज प्रेजेंट एस लाइट इन एवरी ओम एंड साइमटेरियसली इज बॉर्न इन वेरियस फॉर्म्स द ओम एंड द सैंक्टम सेंटोरम आर कॉल्ड गर्भा that is the om in the temple when one invokes the omnipresent god in the idol the god being invited will come similarly god who is omnipresent will be present as energy or light in the om and will be simultaneously born in various forms from numerous ohms hence he is known as ajaha sarveshwaraha one who comes when called with devotion and the one who is the controller or ruler of all forces that is isha is known as sarveshwaraha siddha all the scriptures and knowledge that is shastras and vedas written or spoken in the entire universe explain the tenet of the one and only accomplished god the one who is present in all shastras and the vedas the one who is present in all devotees that is independent reality parmapursha and one who is present in one form that is rupa is siddha siddhi the one who bestows us with the four purusharthas that is object of pursuit for living beings that is artha prosperity and economical values <coughs> kama sensual pleasures dharma righteousness and morality and moksha liberation from the cycle of reincarnation is known as siddhi the one who bestows success for our good action that is satkarma is siddhi sarvadi he was present before existence and accepts everything and he is responsible for everything and hence he is known as sarvadi the universe began as just a single point then expanded and stretched to the, to grow as large as it is now and it is still stretching or growing and finally will collapse into a single point and that single point is known as sarvadi and he is god achutaha he who accepts everything and is untouched by direction that is chuti and the one who is complete in his action and characteristic is uh, is achutaha he creates sustains and destroys the multiverse but is always complete in his duties and characteristic and is untouched by his actions vrishakapi from the surface it looks like vrishakapi that is vrisha plus kapi vrisha means one who is responsible for responsible for rains that is male surasovano and kapi that is kam plus payat payate means one who makes drink water however vrisha means the essence of dharma one can also interpret this as the one who pours what we desire akapi means one who destroys sorrows hence vrishakapi means one who pours rains through dharma faith what we desire one who destroys sorrows and one who grants us perfect happiness and he himself is in the state of complete bliss amayatma our heart and mind have limitations and we cannot comprehend beyond this it is impossible to comprehend god by our mind hence god is known as amayatma although it is impossible to fully comprehend god he is subatomic and pervades in us we can comprehend five elements that is earth water fire air sky and the materials made of these five elements however god is different from these we cannot comprehend the energy that is god that we are made up made of we should try to comprehend god through our inner selves that is through our inner eyes and not looking outside into the materialistic world sarva yoga vinasrataha 
here the word yoga means relation or means or idea we are in relation to the object surrounding us god is present everywhere that is his omnipresent however he is not related to or attached to anything good example of this is space it is present everywhere but is not related to or attached to anything we can feel and sense earth soil water fire or air however even though space is present everywhere it is not attached to anything god is also like space although he is present everywhere he is not attached to anything hence the god is known as sarva yoga vinasrutha hari om